Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Um, whenever you're drawn to the video, the title is when it's for you. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your seventh house, this could be for you. Uh, once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way to support the channel is via the likes, the shares, the comments, subscribes. Um, it does wonders for the growth, so thank you. Um, also, a thank you to the Patreon members. Your loyalty is very much appreciated. And um, also, the um, all those that purchase private reads as well as um, extended reads, you keep me going and keep me uh, being able to provide these on YouTube. So thank you very much. Okay, uh, description box has all the information you need, links to Vimeo, Patreon, etc. Uh, website link. Um, speaking of um, private reads, um, there is a couple of impersonators on uh, Instagram um, contacting people via direct messages and saying, you know, donations and, and private reads, etc. It is not me. Do not. Uh, the only way to um, book a reading with me is via my website. I will never approach you. My Instagram handle is literally Gareth Hudson Tarot 888. That is it. There's no more full stops, hashtags, or whatever, um, extra numbers, extra letters. It is not me. So be vigilant, please. Okay. And uh, cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Right. Libra, what's going on, guys? Let's see. Let's do two more. The Queen of Cups, beautiful. Love is in the air. Um, I'm kind of just connecting with the, you know, the Queen of Cups speaks directly to the High Priestess. Uh, and please don't get caught up in genders, so we all have masculine and feminine within us. Um, but this could be just getting quite a lot of information, a lot of downloads. Let's see. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past advice. Potential outcome. Okay. We have the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, ten of swords and the moon. You've got a lot of nines here. So you're definitely ending something or completing some sort of cycle. Okay, there's a wish fulfillment coming when you actually walk away from something. Um, you're majorly closing out a huge cycle here with the moon and the world. Okay. Okay, I almost feel like you're being called called to do something here. Because um, there's, there's a song in my head now, it's um, Stereophonics, Mr. Writer. Um, and I know I kind of, uh, it's, I, th I suppose the song in general is kind of a dig at uh, media, um, you know, telling lies. Um, why don't you tell it like it really is? Um, I almost feel like you're being called to tell it like it really is there's something here about um writing your pain and it's going to this could be this doesn't have to be in the public domain or something like that but if you if you're resonating with being a writer or very very creative um almost storyteller to a certain degree get it out on paper um get out on social media if it mean if it means it's going to help somebody um, because I kind of feel like the pain that you've gone through in your life is going to be helpful for many. So we've got the Queen of Cups. This this is a, an empath. You could be an empath. Um, what we're aware of is the Seven of Cups. 
Okay, I'm getting something else here, but I'm not 100% sure whether I'm supposed to talk about it. Um, but it's in my head, let me just see where the fool is. Okay, the fool is with the page of pentacles and the emperor. Interesting. Okay, I will briefly talk about it, um, but only in a sense, I, well, if I'm honest, I don't know the in depth, it's my teacher that does. Um, and she was talking about um, Hayoka empaths, uh, the sacred clown. And I've noticed as well on my like YouTube feed, pardon me, uh, somebody don't want me talking about it. Um, part of me, uh, on, on, on my YouTube news feed, I'm inundated with um, people putting out their information, traits of an empath, um, traits of a Hayoka empath, the sacred clown. and kind of um, jazzing it up in a sense and the, 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 like I said I don't know too much details about it but the, the, to be a Hayoka comes with a price and it's not to be something to um, um, be thrown around willy-nilly sort of thing um, so maybe so maybe some of you have read about this and and, uh, and um, resonating with it but there's not it's, I've got the, my teacher, sorry, I'm mumbling now. My teacher uh, spoke of, um, she quoted the Lakota and it, it went along the lines, and forgive me, I'm paraphrasing. Um, uh, the path of the Hayoka uh, is not trendy. It's it's something, it's not something that you can decide that um, uh, that you want to be. It's, um, it's kind of um, a title that's earned and um, a path that's chosen for you and not the other way around. So this is by like a medicine man, woman, um, a, an elder, something like that. And I kind of feel like there's, there's something in the moment where all this social media aspect of like filling us in with information and it's false information. So this could be you, you could have information that um, you know is false online and you, 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 it's, it's time to speak out. Because what we're aware of is the Seven of Cups. This is like illusions. This is a lot of stuff that's not true. It's like, well, what, where do I pick which, you know, which cup is truth? Um, what we're not aware of is the Two of Wands. And I kind of feel like this is that Mr. Writer concept. Um, holding on to that Ace of Wands, which is some sort of creative thing and making a decision, you know, do I, do I let the world know? Do I look out into the, um, into the, um, into the big wide world and, and, and tell my truth. In the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Um, it's a card of celebrations. It's a card of um, 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 fourth house of home and family. Um, it's also a card of the Emperor and the Empress. And incidentally, we had the Emperor right at the end with the Fool. So it's like the Fool's journey. And the reason why I looked for the Fool to give me an indication, the Queen of Cups being an empath, Fool being um, kind of a clown, Jester, the sacred clown. Um, so this is the, the divine masculine, divine feminine that we all have within us that we need to balance. And uh, for some of you that have dealt with divine masculine, feminine uh, energies, as in um, this could be in the form of, you know, um, uh, divine partnerships, twin flames, that type of thing. If you've gone through all this, you might have a lot of pain that's associated with it and you can talk and, and, uh, and deal with it because your advice is the three of swords, let it out. Let your pain out. Um, and again, like I'm getting that Mr. Writer. So just write about it. Even if you don't pu publish it, just get it out. Get it off your chest. Uh, and the outcome is the Nine of Swords, which I kind of feel like is, is a good thing. Yes, it's anxiety. Yes, it's thing. But I'm this seeing this light, you don't truly become the person 
you don't really truly become this balanced aspect until um, your light has faced its shadows. And in doing this, I kind of feel like it's just going to free you. There's going to be some sort of freeing mentality here. Um, and yeah, look at all, I mean, look at all these sort of shadows that are scared and running away from one form of light. So whatever this is, whatever pain that you're carrying, um, or just frustration in regards to stuff that you see online, just speak out. If you've got some sort of truth, speak it. Let's see where the Ace of Swords is. Card of Truth is next to the world, which is Saturn, which is uh, in your uh, Two of Wands. So the Ace of Swords is with the world and the star. Okay. Star is Aquarius energy. The Aquarius is for humanity. This is Uranus, this is the Shocker, this is the Great Awakener. Speak your truth, Libra, okay? It's time. All right? In your extended, we're going to look at uh, past, present, future for you and just look at the positives coming in, negatives to uh, watch out for, as well as your next steps. Um, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, look after yourselves. Um, who have we got? Uh, we got Venus in Scorpio, we've got Mars in Aries, we've got Venus in Aries, Venus in Virgo, um, so that's, yeah, Saturn in Libra, Sun in Gemini. Okay, who else? Jupiter in Aquarius, no, Jupiter in Pisces, Cancer Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius. Yeah, but we've got swords, we've got cups, we've got wands, and we've got pentacles. Everybody's here, those are the standouts. So let me know if it resonates, and I'll see you soon. Oh, happy birthday, guys. It's 22nd, isn't it? We're in uh, Libra season. All right, take care. Bye-bye.